Please navigate to the desired manual. Waste of time. Tucked between the old work manuals was the occasional picture of dubious morality. None of it looked to be much use. In cold blood. Debbie does DDoS. Android's gone wild. Grease my gears. Droid principles. The enemy within. RBMK 1000 reactor. Meltdown procedure. covering the table's interface port. Hey, Joey. Got a job for you. What is it? Remember that leak guy I mentioned? I never forget a thing. Well, I've tracked him to an area code, E1594. Thing is, that code is part of the old system. It's obsolete. Cut to it, Foster. This old map shows the city as it was 10 years ago. The old system. If I can find E1594 on here, it would show me where to find Leet. Have you seen the size of this thing? That will take you hours. Exactly. I need you to plug yourself in. I bet you'll find the location in no time. <sighs> Give me a moment. Joey, you're a genius. There, that's the building I'm looking for. It's on the industrial level. Home Crescent Recycling Center. This is where your guy lead is? I can't be sure, but it's the best lead I've got. Okay, Foster. What's the plan now? We need to get to that recycling center. But first, we need to break out of here without being seen. Break out. Find lead. Got it. Hey, Joey. We need to figure a way out of here. What do you mean? Can't just walk out, not with the museum on high alert. That's right. A priceless artifact has been stolen. Really, Joey? Priceless? You can't put a price on friendship, Foster. Do you think any of this junk could help us out? It wouldn't be the first time. How's the shell, Joey? It's old. Cranky and it itches. Suck it up, Joey. You have a nice day too, Foster. That shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. Wait, find me a new shell. Then get lost. Only if it shuts you up. Anything here you'd like to plug into? What do you mean, Foster? That probe of yours. It might be our only way out of here. Listen, if you find something useful, I'll maybe consider giving it the old Joey one, too. What were you doing in that exhibit, Joey? I was on a journey of self-reflection. Really? What did you learn? I counted 2,147,483,647 sheep. Careful, Joey. You'll max out your memory. What was the Joey Speaks exhibit about, anyway? What do you think? People came from across the city to hear my wisdom. And what did you tell them? We are all living in a simulation, and death is the only escape. And then what? I don't know. I was switched off before I got to the noose part. Can you help us escape, Joey? 
I don't know how this old tin soldier might have a few tricks up its sleeve. You got a welder in that thing? Better. My crow. Any chance we could hook your board up to the vermin robot? That vermin robot is entirely Minos technology. Is there a big difference? Well, you know how when you plug me into a port, there's a right side up and an upside down way? They changed the ports in Minos so you can plug it in either way. Revolutionary. Yeah, but it does mean you can't just plug your headphones in anymore. Now to get back to escaping. Make it quick. I've seen enough of this place to last a lifetime. Hey, Joey, can you talk to the transporter robot? What do you mean, talk? I already said... You probe, Joey. Probe the robot. Go probe yourself, Foster. If you could give the transporter just enough juice... Please, let's not call it juice. Whatever. Just see if you can get it started. Okay, but would you mind looking the other way? Of course. Almost done? Sorry. It's, uh, not doing anything. You don't say, Foster. It's been wiped clean. Decommissioned. Murdered. We need to give it new protocols. Do you think you could do that? Of course I could. I just... need to know how the system works first. I'll have another look around. An old barrel transporter robot. Those robots always gave me the creeps. Joey, a work report for that barrel robot. And it comes with a maintenance e-manual. How fascinating. Do you think this would help you reprogram that old thing? Well, sure. If you can find a way for me to read it, that terminal clearly wasn't built for vacuum bots. An old monitor displayed the maintenance test results for the barrel transporter robot. The text referenced the robot's e-manual. Please navigate to the desired manual. The Z80 by Rodney Zacks. Graphic table now projected the schematics for the barrel transportation robot. Try giving this a look, Joey. I hope you're not wasting my time, Foster. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Move it. You're welcome, by the way. For what? I'm the one who found them in the first place. Yeah, but can you read them? You're welcome. Go reprogram the robot, please. 
what you wanted to do. Let's get out of here. We need somewhere hidden outside this room. Toilets? Toilets. Try and aim for the men's room, Joey. Whatever. And that's done. Let's never speak of this again. So what now? Well, are you ready to go? Ready. Then climb aboard and let's go! was just large enough to squeeze into. Snug fit, it smelled bad, and I felt stupid. Far from discreet, I'd managed to escape unseen. Come on, Foster. Let's get a move on. Mr. Grundy? Mr. Grundy? It is Mr. Grundy, isn't it? Uh, of course, Mentor Alonzo. Who else would I be? Well, quiet, Mr. Grundy. Who indeed, hmm? What brings you down to the Museum of New History today? On Aspiration Day? Where else would I want to be? Oh, perhaps at home, preparing for the party. Oh, my apologies. I had forgotten that you no longer have the required social standing. I wonder, may I scan your YouTube again? Of course, uh, I have nothing to hide. Indeed, Mr. Grundy. Do pardon my curiosity, but I wanted to double-check a little something. Yes, there it is. A sector of corrupt data, almost as if... How very strange. Have no fear. I'll consult my colleagues at the Ministry, and we'll soon have you sorted out. I'm almost positive you have nothing to worry about. Let's hope so. Just one more thing, Mr. Grundy. Yes, Mentor? I am surprised to see you wearing an aspiration brooch. By the power of Joey, I am now a social climber. So it would seem. So it would seem. Alonzo was definitely on to me. I'd have to watch my step around him. Graham had taken the track Bilby to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. I was sure this is where I'd find Leet.
la-dee-da, look at me, I have wings, blah blah blah. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. You don't have clearance for there, Citizen Graham. Please obtain a travel waiver. If I was to get to the recycling plant, I was going to have to obtain a travel waiver. Where would you like to go? Actually, I'd like to stay here. Of course, Citizen Graham. Well, Joey, how's it feel to be outside again? Wow! Did I do all this? So you've told me. I love what I've done with the place. I am truly something else. Okay, Joey. We know where the recycling center is, but how do we get there? Maybe one of those monopods? Nah. Travel's restricted to that area. Well, how do we unrestrict it? Good question. That's why you keep me around. I may not have answers, but I've got some good questions. Is Spankle seriously the only drink around here? Yeah, like, where's a guy gotta go to get some high-grade synthetic lubricant around these parts? I was thinking of bourbon myself. What do you think of Greta? She's perfect. She's a hologram. Exactly. All data, no sloppy organics. My kind of woman. Glad to be out of that museum? You know it. That place was full of useless old junk. Well, now that I've broken you out... Don't finish that sentence. Let's move on. Lead the way. Most excellent to see you again, Graham Grundy. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? I need to get to the Home Crescent Recycling Center in the industrial level. What a curious choice. To reach the industrial level, you will need to obtain a travel waiver. Please log your request with a well-being officer. Well-being? What about that Alonzo guy? I don't think he'd be too keen to help us. Can't you give me a travel waiver? Not my department, sir. I need a travel waiver. Where can I find a well-being officer? Did you have a particular officer in mind? Officer Orana Newblood? Do you have a problem with your well-being, Graham? Nope, never felt better. I just need her to grant me a travel waiver. Well, I'm delighted to inform you that she's currently working at the Aspiration Platform. Though it is unlikely she will have the time to grant your request with the preparations necessary for tonight's gala. You ever heard of that place, Joey? Only stuff I know about Foster is what I could see from my plinth. So Arana could get me a travel waiver to the Recycling Center. If I could speak to her at the Aspiration Platform, I'd be one step closer to finding Leet. Remind me, where can I find Officer Orana? Officer Orana is currently working at the Aspiration Platform. Where can I find one of these terminals? They're everywhere. You can't throw a bilby without hitting a terminal. Why would I want to throw a bilby? I know, they're so cute. Tell me about Union City. The temperature is a perfect 296 degrees. 296 degrees? In what units? Kelvin, obviously. What else would it be? What's happening in the city these days? Have you tried Dijon buttercream spankles? It's new. I have not. Is it tasty? 38% of citizens say yes. 38% is not a great endorsement. Get it before it's gone. Thank you. Until the next time.
Remember, I get travel soon. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Of course, Citizen Graham. Enjoy the view. And don't forget to aspire to aspire. Arana was supposed to be working somewhere around here. My hope of finding Leet rested on convincing her to grant me the travel waiver. Finally. What time do you call this? Well, it's earlier than I might have been. But on the other hand, it's later than I expected. Are you being profound? He wishes. I'm sorry. Please ignore my droid. Is there a problem? Yes, there is. We're in the midst of a disaster. A meltdown! Somehow a bird got in and made a total mess. And the official cleaning team is indisposed. On today of all days. I, P4RT, have been delegated to resolve this issue. For your own well-being, I invite you to call me T. I hereby subdelegate the task of cleaning this area to you and your droid. Actually, I'm just here to speak with Officer Orana. Can you tell me where she is? Officer Orana is occupied in the control room right now, not to be disturbed. In fact, she's even locked the elevator. Not that it's any business of a cleaner. Maybe we can start with cleaning the control room. The control room demands a top-of-the-range cleaning team. And I very much doubt that rust bucket is up to the job. Hey, this isn't rust. These are janitorial scars of honor. He may be old school, but he gets the job done. Either way, you're going nowhere till this whole area is spotless. You won't be disappointed. Right, Joey? Spotless is my middle name, Foster. You will remember, of course, to uphold all ministry regulations. Cleaners must be uniformed and accompanied by a cleaning droid. I'm right here, you know. Yes, and will be expected to be silent. Kindly remember your place. Please return when everything is in order. T was a stickler for the rules. To have any chance of getting that travel waiver for Arana, I would have to play along. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. Oh! You must be Grundy. Graham? Grundy? Um, yes. Yes, I am. Tarquin was telling me you and he had quite a crisis on your hands. The pair of you rescuing some poor wee mite from certain doom. Well, I suppose. How terribly inspiring for you. Oh, anyway, just look at the time. I fear I shall lose the best table. Sir Reginald Arthur Schnipple requires his daily tipple. No inspiration songs precipitation. What? <laughs> Good day, Mr. Grundy. Water tank depleted. Foster, 
Remember back in the gap when you made that thing? Tin cans all tied together, clunking around in the wind. And you said it was art. It was an outfit like Graham's, but in my size. I could make anything look good. You'll have everything squeaky clean soon, Rob. And wearing that, emphasis on the squeaky. Songbird. Hello, husband. Husband? Graham is my dear husband. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Foster? Just go with it, Joey. We have an arrangement. Strictly temporary, don't ask. I see you've changed. Good idea. You looked like a Gaplander. Where's the Home Crescent Recycling Center? Recycling? What's that? It's where you take old things and turn them into new things to avoid waste. That sounds amazing! Can you recycle me, Foster? You don't want that. They'd have to melt you down. Sounds painful. And a waste of time. Union City has plenty of everything. Bye, Songbird. Yeah, bye. Ahem! She's quite the charmer. I can see why he married her. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Of course, Citizen Graham. Enjoy the view. And don't forget to aspire to aspire. Me again. So I see. Excellent. You have your uniform. Oh, still the same droid, huh? Shame. On second thoughts, your droid does look rather antique. Are you sure it's up to the task? This thing has a name. Don't worry. We're thrilled to be here and ready to work hard. Good. Waiting for you has already set my schedule back. So trust me, I'm thrilled to see you too. I shall be supervising the area preparations, should you require me. Unless there was anything else. Do you have a problem with vermin? Ah, oh, yes. Gang gangs are attracted to our beautiful flora, but then create a dreadful mess. Those nasty creatures must not be allowed to ruin the Aspiration Gala. How can they be stopped? Our fearless vermin robot will make sure they don't get anywhere near the tree. I could deal with the bird for you. Absolutely not. The vermin robot is in complete control. And you're on cleaning duty. Tell me something about yourself, T. I live by a simple motto. Cleanliness is next to joeyness. <clears throat> Catchy. I really need to speak to Officer Orana. Officer Orana is busy with preparations for the gala. She has given specific instructions not to be disturbed. Are you sure that room doesn't need cleaning, too? We won't disturb her, I promise. No way. I'm still waiting to be impressed by your cleaning down here. If I was going to get to Arana, I'd need to prove to T that Joey and I were up to the task. Wow, this place sure is a mess. Joey, would you mind tidying up around here? 
We'll need to impress that droid if we want permission to speak to Arana. Excuse me? Do I look like a cleaning droid? You look exactly like a cleaning droid, Joey. Yeah, well, appearances are deceptive. Look, I know you're not a real cleaning droid, just like I'm not the real Graham Grundy. Oh, so I should pretend to clean up the area? No, I mean actually clean up the area. Really, Foster? Must I? Yes, and look like you're enjoying it. Okay, but you owe me. Powerful spray was drenching the tree and everything around it. Joey, can you handle all this cleaning by yourself? No way. We are supposed to be working together. We are. I find the mess, you clean the mess. I'm beginning to question this arrangement. Could you... Yes, yes. Clean the whole area up. I get it. Some old bunting had been left in the tree. Cleaning that up would surely impress D. An empty bird's nest had been built in the heart of the tree. The gated area up top looked like some kind of VIP zone. Citizen Graham. Working hard, I hope? How am I doing? You want me to review your performance? The ground appears... reasonably clear. Does that mean you'll unlock the elevator for us? And allow some incompetent droid to run riot in the control room? I think not. I think he's talking about you, Foster. Our cleaning skills weren't making enough of an impression. I needed something big. Something striking to clean if I was to impress the droid. Some old bunting had been left in the tree. Cleaning that up would surely impress D. Hey, feathers. Fancy a mini K? The gang gang wouldn't go near the tree with that sprinkler running.
For some reason, Arana had locked down the elevator. An intercom system connected to the control room above. I'd have to get her attention another way. It was a hand scanner. One of those robots again. Please, just no more rats. Hey, feathers. Fancy a mini K? Here, boy. Nice gang gang. The gang gang wouldn't go near the tree with that sprinkler running.
do? This avian invasion is a disaster. Look at the mess. Citizen Graham, to work. Hey, at least the bird's gone, right? That's pretty impressive. The vermin? The vermin is gone, but behold this. This looks like a war zone. To work. To work. Remember, cleanliness is next to joeyness. Yes, that's always been my motto. Joey, could you... Yes, yes, clean the whole area up. I get it. Joey, let's show this droid your true talent. Get to work on that bunting. With pleasure. You know, Foster, I think I'm starting to get the hang of... Uh -oh. The bunting's tangled in my brushes. My motor! I think my motor is on fire! Foster, I'm too young and talented to die! Ow! Quick, Joey, stop dropping! Look, stop and drop! Hurry! What's going on down there? I thought this platform was supposed to be... Officer Arana, I'm so sorry. The cleaning unit I was sent have proved to be wholly inadequate. The cleaning unit? Hello? Not what I'd had in mind, but my strategy had worked all the same. Now I could ask Arana about a travel waiver. Arana, just the person I wanted to see. Graham Grundy, what on earth are you doing here? I wanted to ask you about something. So I came down here hoping I'd find you. And you decided to get my attention by setting fire to this droid? A happy accident. <sighs> I'm sure that T will clear this all up in good time. I'd better get on with my duties. Of course. Hey, listen, before you go... I was hoping you could get me access to the recycling center in the industrial level. Area code E1594. So that's what you were asking about earlier. I'm afraid that zone is prohibited, unless you have a travel waiver. I know. Do you think you could authorize one for me? Why would you want to go to there? It isn't safe for civilians. It's about the missing child I told you about. I've been following some clues and... Shouldn't that be reported to the appropriate ministry? I've tried that, but no one seems to care. I don't know. This is all very... You've got to help me, please. Okay. I'll authorize your travel waiver. But be careful. Got it. Thank you, Orana. There. I should get back to work. Keep a smile on your face. At last, I had the waiver I needed. Next stop, Home Crescent Recycling Center. So, Joey... Save me, you monster! Help a brother out here. Don't worry, pal. I've got you. Oh, thank goodness. Just gotta pull this out. Be careful with... Joey seemed to be enjoying the vertical freedom of his new shell. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. Travel waiver accepted. Are you sure you want me to transport you to the industrial level? Yes, yes, I'm sure. No one has ever asked me to take them up there before. Mind how you go, Citizen The recycling center was located high in the city's industrial level. The place was filthy, noisy, and smelled terrible. 